Hi, my name is Esther Carrington, and the professional learning is leading others in digital transformation. According to Cowan and Company in 2003, cited in the article, professional learning communities create sustainable change through collaboration by Teague and Company 2012, researchers penned that Studies from the world of business have helped educators to examine schools and to understand why traditional methods and structures are ineffective in improving student learning and teaching performance. In order for learning and instruction to be effective, teachers must engage in extensive professional learning. Professional learning is expected to enhance the skills, performance, as well as the necessary qualities that teachers need to carry out their daily education profession. Many schools in the developed world are moving to take advantage of digital technologies with financial support being provided by the governments. As education policy is seen as being linked to economic policy and productivity. If given the desired funding and teachers receive the required professional trainings, our students will be sure to reach the expected end. The objectives of the professional learning are, teachers will gain knowledge of technology to enhance learning and instruction. Teachers will know the benefits of using technology to enhance learning and instruction. Teachers will be made aware of students' benefits. Teachers will be introduced to a tool to improve teaching and learning. Let's look at literature review. There has been a definite positive shift in the way we educate our children as they are now being motivated and enjoying instruction as they engage technology. Using technology to improve instruction should be taken into consideration by all involved if we are desiring to raise a multitude of positive, efficient and effective learners. According to Shaw 2013, play is one of the primary characteristics of authentic progressive learning, both a cause and effect of an engaged mind. In a mobile learning environment, students are encountering a dynamic and often unplanned set of data, domains, and collaborators changing the tone of learning from academic and compliant to personal and playful means. Since our children are expected to learn through play, Mobile apps for learning is now becoming one of the best solutions for improving instruction. So there is now a better way for teachers to instruct and learn in the 21st century. That is by the use of technology in the classroom. Let's look at the benefits of using technology to enhance learning and instructing. According to Glenn Finger and Mali 2014, Schools now find themselves situated in a fundamentally different digital network and global environment that differs from the 19th and 20th century, in which many of our current systems and structure of schools were conceived and shaped. Due to this change, or due to the actual implementation of technology in the classroom, both students and teachers are sure to enjoy the many benefits that are seen as well as foreseen. According to the article, Technology in the Classroom, what the research tells us, though it's important to acknowledge the limits of technology in the classroom, we do not advocate banning technology altogether. They also note that one reason not to ban laptops is that some students may have learning disabilities or other accommodations that allow them to take notes much more effectively by computers. Let's take a look at some students' benefits. According to the article, Effects of Technology on Children, Ramey 2012, technology has played a big role in changing the way our children learn, get entertained, how they interact with friends, it has impacted their level of creativeness and how they behave in society. Students from a very young age are drawn to the use of these tools and are more likely to follow and engage instruction. 
they will be more motivated using the iPads and tablets rather than having to sit under the vocal instruction of a teacher for any period of time. No two students learn in the same way. Each student has their own learning styles and exercise their own unique abilities when learning. The use of technology in the classroom is as a tool for learning and instructing allow the student to be himself or herself. Student engagement is also encouraged. Students are now engaged with a tool they love. With this tool, they are motivated to follow through with assigned tasks since they are provided with opportunities that makes their learning fun and enjoyable. Individual learning is also encouraged. Students can interact with activities that are geared toward their individual needs. Lessons are modified as necessary and students can learn at their desired pace. There is no rushing for students who needs additional time. Technology in the classroom affords students the opportunity of becoming productive learners. When technology is embraced in the classroom, students have the opportunity of becoming productive learners. Let's take a look at the instructor benefits. The use of technology in the classroom for learning and instructing enable teachers to decrease their paperwork. It also enables teachers to further differentiate their teaching. Teachers can also use technology in the classroom to conduct research on specific subjects and derive real-time examples to their students. The use of technology in the classroom can enhance teaching strategies and best practices. Last but not least, teachers have the ability to view, monitor, and control students' devices with the classroom management tool. A learning tool that I want to introduce to you to improve teaching and learning is clickers. According to Bello, Bradley, McKinney, and Vu 2016, studies on the integration of technology-rich learning environments in early childhood education, such as the Pictopal learning environment with a particular focus on the functions of print, have promising results with regard to early literacy skills. They found that using software is a sure method for enhancing students' literacy. There is a vast amount of learning management systems that can be utilized for learning and instructing, to name a few, Moodle, Schoology, Canvas, or your school's LMS, classroom response systems known as clickers, Google Drive, or social media. The software that I wish to introduce to you teachers and the teaching staff to be utilized by the students during instruction or otherwise as desired by the teaching staff is the classroom response, response systems clickers, which features images and text supported by audio. Clickers or classroom or audience response systems are instructional technologies that enable teachers to rapidly collect and analyze student responses to questions during class. By using clickers, Teachers are still a part of the instruction. Teachers can verbally ask questions or use a PowerPoint presentation on the classroom performance software or smart board software that is connected to the tool the students are utilizing and receive students' responses on clickers. I believe this tool will help improve teachers' instruction since students have the opportunity to respond to instruction by clicking in their answers and not verbally speaking, which causes students to feel embarrassed, especially if their answers are incorrect. By using clickers, each student has their own identity and individual response data is collected and processed in the software installed on the teacher computer. This makes easy, it easier for teachers to engage the students and students are literally exercising their individuality with a tool they can relate with. To our teachers, knowledge is just a click away. Knowing what piques students' interest and how to get students' interest aroused is a major step in their learning. I believe that children live what they learn. 
and having a knowledge of how students learn and develop is rooted in our ability to groom them effectively. As an instructor, understand that learning is never done. Every teaching moment is a learning moment. Even though you are called a teacher, be aware of the fact that you cannot be comfortable with what you already know and believe you have accomplished in the final goal. You must continue striving to learn something new to build on what you already know. In order to demonstrate your continued professional growth, you must be well informed and knowledgeable about the change that is here. You must be knowledgeable of the new methods to be used and the new requirements that is necessary for your growth. Technology is here to stay. I believe that the more you practice, the more you will learn and the better able to serve students you instruct as the community and peers. Five questions I wish to leave with you as you follow through with your learning. The questions are, one, is this tool, the clickers, a better or the best approach to students' learning? Is this the best tool to prepare students for the outside world? Why or why not? Are you prepared enough to instruct using this tool? And finally, if you had a choice, which tool would you use and why? I wish you well as you continue learning how to enhance your professional goal through technology in the classroom. Thank you.